to talk about a fragment of Sophocles. Fragment 149 that comes from a lost play called The Lovers of Achilles. We know the play was a satyr play. It was a kind of mock tragedy that would appear after a set of three tragedies. And we only know a few tiny little fragments about it, but it seems to have involved a story where a whole bunch of people, perhaps a whole bunch of horny goat men, would be chasing Achilles, perhaps at a time when he was trying to avoid going to the Trojan War. Here's the fragment. It's a fragment that talks about the nature of desire and makes a comparison. It compares it to ice. This sickness is a charming evil. Here's a comparison I have, not a bad one. When ice appears outside, in their hands boys will grab it when it's a crystal. At first they have new pleasures. Finally, the heart does not want to let go nor is the prize still a good thing to stay in their hands. In this way, the same desire drives lovers to do and not to do over and over again. Togar no sema tu te pimeron kakon, echoin man auto me kako sape kasai. Hotem pagu penentos ai triu keroin, crustalon har pasosi paides el page. Ta prot ehusen hedonas potainius. Telos de hotumos ut hopos ape tele, ut en heroin toctema sumperon mene. Huto da tus erotas, autos himaros, dran kai tome dran polakis prosieta. I like this fragment a lot. It shows Sophocles understanding the joys associated with desire, first love, and it's something that antiquity has preserved for us to show that the feelings that we feel when we're teenagers and first in love are the same things that were experienced 2400 years ago in a different culture, in a different language, with a different mentality, in a world before antibiotics and the Industrial Revolution. I'm thrilled that there is that commonality. about this fragment because it was preserved for us by a guy called Stobaeus. Now Stobaeus we know almost nothing about, uh, but he wrote an anthology in the 5th century AD, and the anthology was for his son. And the anthology pulls together quotations that he thinks his son ought to know. Lessons on kingship, lessons on how to properly treat the dead. I first came across this fragment of Sophocles in a wonderful book by the poet Anne Carson. It's a collection of essays called Eros the Bittersweet, and she has a short essay called Ice Pleasure, in which she focuses on the fragment of Sophocles. I first fell in love with this fragment when I read Anne Carson's book, and I uh, learned a lot about how to read fragmentary poetry and little snippets of Sappho and of the tragedians too by reading Eros the Bittersweet. Carson's interpretation focuses on the melting aspect of things. Um, she makes a comparison with uh, the melting of wax. But there's another stop on this journey and that's a play by Tom Stoppard. Tom Stoppard's The Invention of Love is about a classicist, so obviously it's an excellent play that everyone should know. Tom Sarver's The Invention of Love looks at the character of A.E. Hausman, a famous Latinist, who in the play is on the verge of death, and as he's on the banks of the underworld, he comes across a younger version of himself. 
And so the old houseman is speaking to the young houseman and trying to give him advice. In some ways, this advice is like the advice that Stobaeus gives to his son. And near the end of the first act, the elder houseman makes this explicit. They've been talking for a long time about textual criticism, about love, about everything in between. But the young houseman says, I don't know what love is. And his older self says, oh, but you do. I don't know what love is. Oh, but you do. In the dark ages, in Macedonia, in the last guttering light from classical antiquity, a man copied out bits of books for his young son, whose name was Septimus. And so we have one line from the loves of Achilles. Love, said Sophocles, is like the ice held in the hand by children at piece of ice held fast in the fist. I wish I could help you, but it's not in my gift. I wish I could help you, but it's not in my gift. I'm certain that Tom Stoppard has read Eros the Bittersweet, and what he saw in Carson's essay was the beauty of the fragment, but rather than focusing on the melting, Stoppard focuses instead on the pain, pleasure of holding the ice. The joy that's felt the first time you touch something frozen, and the pleasures associated with that, and we know that we hold on too long, and we wait until it hurts. And as every pop song that was successful in the 1980s taught me, love hurts, 